guys. I'm out in the morning. I just went out to Albertsons to make a run and get a few things. I was out of pumpkin seeds in the morning and I use that on my Weight Watchers journey because I get zero points for, you know, my tablespoons. And I ended up using pecans this morning, which I love, but it had points. So um, I need to make sure I have those pumpkin seeds too. Anyway, um, I wanted to share this dream I had with you last night because it was really interesting. Let me move that little out of the sun. Um, anyway, I was talking to this woman in my dream and I didn't know this woman. So it was early this morning. And, um, and I was surprised because I was really talking to her like we were close and I was relaying to her the story about Abraham and Isaac in the Bible and how that relates uh, relates to Christ and um, and I'll tell you what I was telling her and that was that I was I was telling her that you know I was really surprised a long time ago many years ago um, I read the story of Abraham and Isaac um, and how uh, Abraham, you know, he was going to go up on the mountain to um, to worship God and to make a sacrifice. Um, now, back then, you know, a sacrifice needed to be made to cover sins, I believe, but um, it didn't like take them away. Uh, but in any case, um, that's what he was going to do. And um, the Lord told him uh, that now Isaac was a, I have to go back a little bit now Isaac was uh, the son he had waited for for like many 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 years and in fact God gave him Isaac but he didn't give him Isaac until his wife um, was really old she was really really old Sarah um, conceived him way after her childbirth birthing years and so he was a miraculous uh, child even and so uh, it, he was this great gift to him and Abraham waited for him all this time and he he cherished him I mean he was the prized child and um, he loved him so much and God told him that he wanted to you know Isaac is older he's a lot older he's gotten to know his dad they've grown very close and God told him to take Isaac up on the mountain and he was going to ask him to sacrifice his son to sacrifice Isaac as an offering and um and you know of course he's bewildered and heartbroken but he loves God so much he just doesn't he's he's going to be obedient but he's hoping for a miracle to be able to escape that fate right um but he's not prepared to be disobedient and reading that and you know when i read it we only had one son and he was my only son and and i couldn't fathom what god was asking him to do i couldn't fathom i thought this is this sounds horrific i mean it would I would never recover from something like that. It just how could he ask him to do that? I mean, he made him wait so long for him and then he he brought him to him as this great gift and now he's asking him to do this. I just couldn't process it and I knew that there was a reason behind it, but I didn't really understand why was it that he asked him to do that. Um and I prayed about it, you know, and time went by and God speaks to you when he speaks to you and he explains things when he explains things to you through his spirit. And um, sometimes it's not always right away. You don't get that understanding. But over time, I saw that, um, you know, through study of his word and uh, through more prayer, it's like, Oh, I get it now. Okay, what he did, see, at that moment when Abraham went up on the mountain and he had Isaac up there, I mean, he got him up there and it was the very last, you know, second, the Lord intervened and stepped in and he said, do not harm him. He said, do not harm the boy. He said that, um, you know, I see that you have your devotion to me and that, um, that you love me. You're going to be obedient. I'm not going to question that. I'm going to multiply your descendants, you know, but, um, but what he, what you read next is it says, and the Lord provided, uh, the sacrifice 
And there was a ram caught in the bushes there that God had supplied for him to be able to make that sacrifice. And so, you know, it did not happen with his son. But still, I was kind of like back then, why though? You know, why put him through all that? And then um, I realized God did not ask him to do anything that he did not do himself. God's only son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, sinless, the, the perfect lamb and sacrifice that actually doesn't just cover sins, but washes them away and gets rid of them. As far as the Bible says, he removes them as far as the east is to the west from us. Um, he forgets them. They're done because that sacrifice is so pure. And there's no person on earth that, who else have, could have been that sacrifice for us. What he did was he turned that sacrifice, that what he told Abraham to do, he turned that on himself and he did that to his very own son. And you have to wonder, you know, as much as we love our children and as much as we love each other, God's ability to love is multiplied it by it's unfathomable how much he loves and you can just imagine how much he loved his one and only son who was part of him always part of him and then to be able to separate from him send him to this earth and put him through a horrible death to be that sacrifice for us he did not do it to Abraham's son he did it to himself to his own son and he did it for me and he did it for you so that one day we could be with him because that love is that great that he has he has it for us and he hurt himself that bad so that he could be reunited with us and thank the Lord uh, his son Jesus rose again on the third day after he was crucified to show us that we have that same hope to rise again and live with them one day. And that is the gospel truth. Um, so anyway, I just, I think, you know, what a wonderful understanding to know his love is that deep. And it really brought a whole new dimension to the story of Abraham for me at one time. So um, I'm still learning so much about this but um, that truth has always been with me. Um, I was sharing it with this woman in my dream. And for some reason, I didn't get to finish talking to her. We just kept getting interrupted. But it was on my heart to share with you guys today. So if you don't know him, all you have to do is ask and uh, tell him thank you for what he did and that you want to know him. You know, we want that forgiveness for our sins. We want to be uh, com communing with him. We want to be with him again one day. Anyway, um, I'm going to let you go for now, and I hope you have a very wonderful, wonderful day today. It's January 3rd. Bye, guys.